then let us get started. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Dragon Quest XI. We're finishing up Eric's quest. Well, not really finishing up. We're continuing Eric's quest. Okay, well, there's something up there. But how do I get up there? Well, let's... Okay. So I came from here. There's no way to climb up. So I guess I gotta go down. Oop! Okay, it didn't hurt me. Cool, 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 cool. I don't have to fight you guys. I think you are the same rock people from before. Rock barm shard. Oh yes. Um. Since Eric is not a healing boy, icicle dirk. Ooh. Okay, one ninety one, one eighty six. 215. So we're gonna put this into equipment bag. Okay. And oh wow, those are the only things I have. Okay, well, um, then never mind because Eric has multiple enemy hitting skills where Jade did not, but I hope I can get some healing. Wait, I have Elijah. Never mind, I'm in good shape. Whoa, 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 stop spinning. Okay, so now I'm up here. Those statues are bad guys. I can get this. Superior medicine! Kilasha is in my battle party, right? Oh well. We keep going. Don't touch me! Well, the way they're giving me superior medicines in a row, maybe I should have them? Ooh, wait, um, let me get out of the way of these guys first. Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Tuesday. Yes, today is Tuesday. Whoa! Going on that platform looks cool when you're playing a game, but, um, doesn't seem like it would be a lot of fun if you're riding it in real life, especially if you're kind of afraid of heights. Oh, so if you do have space in your bag, then they give you the option to be like, hey, how many do you want to transfer? Uh -huh. Go, 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 go. Last. Hey Jay, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hope you've been well, dude! Hope all is well. All is well. As pretty well as it's it can go. It's another one of these thingamies. Hope mm. you're doing well, dude. But this one's not working. Thingamies! Oh no, it's gonna be a boss. There's gonna be something in there. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Interesting. Doing alright, just lurking? Okay, feel free to lurk. Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, his mouth isn't moving when he's going talking. No slime. Uh huh. No slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Elijah's really cute. I want him to stick with me for the rest of the game. He's a cutie pie. Oh no, is he gonna die because he's using too much magic? <laughs> Heights don't bother me as long as I stay on the ground. Mm. Yeah, heights don't bother me when I'm on a roller coaster. They caught up um, with us. It's kind of like scary when you're in a really tall building. Like if you go to the top of the like Empire State Building or the. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not Sears Tower. They changed the name. Please just hold them off for but a little that while. That tower. You? Um. Yeah, any tall building when you're on the observation deck. It is like, oh my gosh, it's kind of scary. But it's not like I have like a crippling fear of heights. It's just, I don't want to fall. But if it was like an open railing and there's no like fence or guard, and I'm high up, I'm just like, uh-uh, nope, 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 bye. Shoot, um... Elijah's not with me. Ah, Professor, stop it. 
when I drop from Minecraft buildings way up high, I get weird. So I was like, yeah, same in video games. If I drop from a really high place, I'm just like, oh, for some reason, I feel the stomach drop too. And I'm like, why? It's just a game. Oh my goodness. Are you all right? Here, let me help you. Yay, HP MP fully restored. Gotta finish killing these guys. Like when I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV and I jump from a like a high cliff down to like the lower plane of a map. <laughs> yeah, it is quite scary. Ow! Ow! What? How'd you miss the Groblin? Yeah, now I'm dead. Think you can beat me? Think again. Yeah, you got nothing on me. Heal me! <laughs> Only a total crackpot would think they could escape us. You don't have a chance. And if you don't believe me, ask all the other monsters who are on their way. Grahaha! <laughs> or maybe you'd rather not wait to find out. Very well, you've earned yourself an exclusive private beating courtesy of yours truly come here and let me smash it a bit mirror's edge had a blur effect when you fell uh, i don't like the blur effect in games i don't i don't know it doesn't feel real it's just like it's trying to simulate moving really fast or something, or it's just like, hey, like, woo, look at you go! And I'm just like, this actually looks bad, and it actually takes me out of the environment. If, if that makes sense. Like, I know it's a video game, so you don't have to give me that, like, and motion blur that. effect. Especially if I'm playing in, like, third person view. Because I'm not playing it in first person, so I'm not, like, experiencing the whoosh. So maybe that's why it feels awkward. But I don't know if Mirror's Edge is a first person or like a third person view game. Go Ray! It worked! This thing's full to the brim with magic again! Come on, Eric! Climb aboard! Like in type Final Fantasy Type Zero, they had uh one that came out for the PS4 version. Um they originally had motion blur on whenever you turn the camera to make it seem like you were whipping around really fast and I'm like I'm not even turning around that fast stop it and it actually made me so dizzy that I like huh. could not play the game not and then they're like okay done. guys we hear you we're like adding a patch that gets rid of um <laughs> the motion blur and everyone was like sign, yes really? this is so much better but things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay First person I turn off motion blur when I can. Mm. This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall In we? In that case, if it's first person, I don't think it's as bad, but it's still just like, why we don't need this? But maybe that's just my personal opinion and thought. Limbo. I've been playing this game for about 21 hours now, but I know at least 30 minutes of it are idling, and I did spend maybe about two hours level grinding. Hmm. <laughs> so this actually isn't a very long game then. But who knows, maybe I have to do all like the post-story stuff dungeons and whatnot to make it feel like a long game disorienting to me yeah motion blur is disorienting wait a second isn't this that great big room that was oozing with monsters earlier it looks like we can go that way come on there's no slime to lose but are there treasures heck yeah there are Sniff out every single one. Rock bomb shot. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to get a higher vantage point to see if there are any other goodies. Yes! Like a treasure chest. Disturbing turban. 
No treasures on that side. No other shinies. Then we move on. Wait. Okay, we can't go past that door, so we're just moving on ahead. Run, 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 Eric. Boss fight. Is it gonna be a dragon? Wait. What? Oh no, how do we get out? Do we just keep climbing to the top of the mountain? We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look, over there, there's a path going up to the top. Blub, blub, blub. Ah! <laughs> no, Elijah! Uh, what now? Ooh. Kneel before Indignus, mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. Ooh. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master. But I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far. Yeah, I feel like um, for, a feat for a some reason this boss human. and Jade's boss, I feel but like were dispatched no by Morgan and are actually bosses. But Silvano didn't have a boss. He was just like, let's spread happiness, guys. <gasps> see him. We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large. At the large. time of darkness has arrived. And no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! This guy actually looks pretty freaking cool. It is a dragon! No, that's just a dude. Okay. Um, spells, mountain mover, you, because you are scary. Ow! Oh. Skeleton! Skeleton! I suppose I could just mountain mover all of them and then they'll consistently take damage from another source too. Okay, after this round, I will heal. Superior medicine, me. Yeah. Man, Elisha, how come you aren't in battle with me? No, the sigil is gone. Okay, we're just gonna go attack. Well, frack! Why did I heal myself in the earlier did turn? I should have just oh, killed yeah. them. Oh well, whatever. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh man, there's too many of them. Oh, looks like the end of the road. Damn it! If only there was some way out. Hey, Elijah, you better not sacrifice yourself. Huh? Huh? Elijah? Is that you? Where are you? It is me, but also not me. Huh? You have known me for longer than you think. What you talking about, Willis? One day, you shall meet the Luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, don't you? Oh, that's from the Seer. Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. <gasps> what do... So tell me, what might that be? What does he treasure most? Of course, your memory 
arms of your brothers and sisters in arms. <gasps> Precious treasures. He's gonna indeed. lose but all I of his have memories. To strip you of them. There is no other way. But then, what's the point of escaping then? Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. Huh? The power oh. is yours. Huh. Earth. Fire. <laughs> Wind. He has accepted Water. his fate at last. Heart. Caesar. Go planet. <laughs> Hey, Daggett, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Kame. Not by a long shot. Kame. <gasps> What's the Super Saiyan 4? Hey, he's gone. He's got the blue hair. I mean... This scene is beautiful. I, I'm amazed that they chose to render this whole thing instead of just doing like text boxes. But this is good because then I get to see Eric in more beautiful graphics. It seems there is fight in him yet. Very well. Oh shoot! Am I gonna? I shall finish the job myself. Kill myself. <sighs> oh shoot, boss fight time. Foolish human. Okay, Let's well, if it's only one dude. Uh one dude, then I'm going to do um Wait. No. Left hand, do that. Oh, wait, what? There's only, s oh, is he mostly a lefty? Oh, damn. Oh, I can't do Icicle Dirk because he only has one of those. Okay, so then I gotta do um. Steel Broadsword. Oh, damn it. Okay, and then this one. Cool. Spells, Mountain Mover. Let's rock! That voice, which voice? Indignus, where he's like. <laughs> oh. L. Oh. 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 <gasps> Ow. Good thing I keep getting healed. Dingus voice. <laughs> Dingus. Crack. Ow. You dingbat. Oh no, it faded. Is it worth putting it. Ow! Is it worth putting it up again? Nah, he's in the mids. Yep, he's dead. I hope you're doing well. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm just getting a little cold. It's been super windy today. Ooh, his chest. His man boobs are peeking out. Ooh. Eric, no! No. Not now, damn it. No. Jump off the cliff now. Just jump off. I said, I'm not. Done! <sighs> Excellent, Kerr! I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. 
Don't die. What's happening? <gasps> Elijah. You did it, Eric. You're safe now. Oh, the voice changed. Hello, pretty lady. You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. And you did. I left jail. I found a luminary. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. A stitch now? <laughs> Yee! But then, if Eric loses his memories, he's not gonna be compelled to go looking for the Luminary or the rest of the party. So, how are we going to find Eric later? Oh, is that his sister? By the power of friendship. <laughs> Remember, where there is love, my friends are my power. There is hope. Kingdom Hearts is life. Farewell. Beep, 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 beep. Boom. What's a blooming palaver? Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Oh, so Yggdrasil like smashed to the ground? Hmm? Oh yeah, it's not in the sky. Crikey, anymore. that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. I wonder how You're the world right, map mate. changed them. I... I don't know. Where am I? I don't even know who I am. Whoa! All Wait, I, I thought he just lost memories of everyone else. Like, he... Someone. Completely lost every with single who? memory? Ooh. Suit yourself. <laughs> Suit yourself? So he doesn't even know his own name? Cordial activities? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. This one. Well, those are beautiful opening scenes to start the stream with. Sponges or towel? Which are better? Towels! Because sponges eventually rot. And that's gross. Lord Robert and the Kingdom of Dreams. I'll say, hey, Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Mm. Huh? Okay, so we're Rob now. How be the day go? The day actually went very well. I was productive and I went grocery shopping. Woohoo! I bought myself food. How did I get here? I hope you had a good day. I cannot remember a thing. <gasps> Whoa, a hot girl. <laughs> Jinx. Uh, is that? No, it can't be. It feels like Friday. <laughs> Day was up and down. Rangers lost again. I'm right at the very tail end of P5 Royal. Damn, so soon. It is. It's her. Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest. And large as life. 
Have the Rangers been doing well this season? The first clue what's going on I haven't really kept parts. up with any sports news. Worse than ask a lassie here. Bought food. Adulting successfully completed for now. I know, right? And then we'll have to do it well, again Rab, tomorrow and the next but, day. And, oh. So hang around forever while you Life plug is a up hassle. what little courage you have left. You, you know the switch puzzle thing at the very end of Madagee's Palace? I got up to there, put the controller down, said I'll get back to this later. Ah, oh, man, that puzzle. That was annoying. <laughs> annoying, but fun. Haha, <laughs> I'ma get you. Morning cooking with jelly ad watch. <laughs> I am not a good cook though. I'm starting to learn how to make basic hey, stuff. But what just happened. <laughs> Is this dungeon <laughs> cell before it was destroyed? This can he be? But but it is. It's no joke, first playthrough, I think I was there for at least an hour. Once wow. That's a long time. Jelly cooks toast. Let's do it. <laughs> First, you get some bread. Making then you put it in a toaster. Majesty. Done. <laughs> oh, I thought she was pointing at her boobs, and I was like, uh, but, awkward. But how? What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> no. Walk this way. To your death! My bunny-eared pal headed off in the direction of the throne room, assuming this is the real Dundrathil castle, that is. Well, that's as good a place as any to head for, I suppose. I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. Can I go back? Nope, I can't. Well, first, there is a priest here, so let us save. Uh, save. Then add butter, cinnamon, maple syrup. Then add butter and some jam. Mmm. Kind of savory and sweet. Mmm. I wish I could explore more of Dundrasil Castle because this is effing gorgeous! Okay, I don't think I'm allowed to go to the end rooms. There's people guarding it. Wow, so pretty! These look like the purple herbs from Black Panther. If you drink of it. You will get the powers of the Black Panther. <laughs> if you make a uh, PNJ, you have to play the song. What? What song? Oh, how did it go? I don't remember. Wakanda forever! Ah, there you are, your majesty. I've been looking for you everywhere. You must remember me telling you that you had an important audience scheduled. I don't know how to do Irish accents. It's almost time. Hurry on over to your throne and prepare yourself. You've no business with the Queen's throne just now, your majesty. Hurry on over to your own. Quickly, they'll be here any moment. Take a seat until the audience begins, sure. Huh? Just talk like Cronor McGregor. <gasps> I don't know how to. But... I trust you are well, father. Oh, it's his daughter! Eleanor! Erwin! Erwin! It, it really is you! And, and you're young again! What's going on? Uh, your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I would like I to come marry before your daughter. You not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. 
Well, I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, uh, oh, he's nervous. <laughs> I get my good looks from I my mother. I wish to mother. ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast. It's nice and to my get heart a look at main characters. Dad, there is though. no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Oh, cool. she's so pretty your too. Majesty, oh gosh, that's just so nice. I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter, not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful? And loving husband. There's gonna be a boss fight at the end of this, and I'm not gonna be prepared. Uh, sure. I don't know why they gave me a choice there. I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? But to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two. Because this is all in the way. past, right? Oh, father, father. I don't think she knows it's how to do an you, Irish though, accent Irwin. either. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, your majesty. Thank you. Like, Erwin is clearly not Irish. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! Congratulations! 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 The answer is no, gay man's. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, maybe I should have tried saying no. Oh. What is this, WandaVision? Uh, huh? Huh? <laughs> Are we living inside a TV world? Crevens! Where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> is he Irish or Scottish? Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. Where are we going? Okay. Your Majesty, is everything all right? You're looking a wee bit befuddled if you didn't my say so. What's that you say? Queen Eleanor and King Erwin lost forevermore? Oh, come now. It's the nerves talking, that's all. Speaking of nerves, the father to be seems more, a little, more than a little jumpy himself. He went flying out the throne room not long ago like a man possessed. Huh? I'm? Well, oh, the father to be. Ah, this way? So now it's the time of uh, my birth? Wow. Man, these designs make me feel like I'm in Rivendell and Lord of the Rings or something. Wow. It's so pretty. Any red books? Red book. To jump for it. Looks like an old diary of Rob's. Rob takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Ever since the day I ceded the throne to young Erwin, the lad has poured his heart and soul into making Dundrasil the greatest kingdom that can possibly be. He was never raised as royalty, and I must admit I shared some of my subjects' doubts about whether he was or not he was truly suited to rule at first. But now I know he had made the right choice. He soon gave their trust and respect of mine as well. The entire nation is united behind him. My dear Eleanor has made a fine choice of her husband indeed, which means I get to I can get on with enjoying my retirement. <laughs> Lord Robert's bedchamber. Oh, so it's Rob's full name, Robert? That makes sense. Hello, Lassie. Your Majesty, the Queen needs qu quiet and rest right now, and plenty of it. I know you want to see her, but please give her some space. What's that? You just gave them permission to wed? Your Majesty, I understand you're anxious, but please get a grip on yourself. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Gotta look at him running from the front. Kind of cute and funny. There you are. I forgot his accent, Lord Robert. I was hoping I might have the chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. If 
before the child was born. Well now, so it's the day of my grandson's birth, is it? Now there's a thing. Your Majesty? Sorry, lad. You were saying there was something you wanted to discuss. Aye, it's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. So much trouble that's been distracting me from everything else, if I'm honest. I was wondering if you might see your way to reprising your role as king for a wee while so I can have some time to think it over. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'll not have much to do, I promise. There are just two items on the agenda for today. The first is something you're more than used to. Receiving those who seek a royal audience and giving them counsel. The chief minister will be on hand to help you with the most pressing issues. The second is to make rounds at the castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you yourself initiated during your reign. I'll be by the fountain downstairs. It's where I do my best thinking. Once you've taken care of the day's business, please come and find me. I'm truly grateful for you agreeing to do this. So I'm just basically doing menial tasks now. Great gameplay, guys! Your Majesty, the King has surprised me of the situation. If you'd be so kind as to take a seat on the throne where you are ready to begin discharging your royal duties, you'll be welcoming visitors from other kingdoms and dealing with various matters of state, both trivial and momentous. King Erwin will be deeply grateful for any assistance you can offer, I am sure. And speaking personally, it will be a pleasure to work with you again, Your Majesty. He just basically explain my job when I know how to do my job. I'm the freaking king. Um, so there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, shall we speculate? Oh! Oh yeah, there is a Nintendo Direct! And I think they're talking about Smash, right? Are they talking about any other game? Because I heard that it was the 35th anniversary of Zelda. So maybe there will be Zelda news? But huh, I'm guessing there's definitely gonna be a new character announced for Smash. Hmm. I don't have any personal... I... Whoever they announce, I'll just be like, Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking too, new Zelda game. Hmm. Either new Zelda game or maybe like, um... Wait, did the second DLC or expansion of Breath of the Wild come out yet? Because maybe that'll come out. Some are saying it's an op update for Nocturne. Ooh, but I don't remember seeing any word of, like, it's there's gonna be like other games too. I just heard it was only gonna be Smash. And then people online are like, oh, it's gonna be Phoenix, right? It's gonna be Sora, it's gonna be um, Luigi, Waluigi. And I'm just like, at this point, I don't know who in the world they can add. That'll be interesting. Now, let us commence with today's itinerary. As you know, your role is to hear out those who come before you and use your wisdom to give counsel as the representative to of the crown of Thundrasil. Your Majesty, first let me express to you my gratitude for granting me this audience. I have traveled all the way from the Kingdom of Sniffleheim to seek it. The matter I wish to bring before you today has greatly ex has been greatly exercising the ruler of my land. He very much desires to seek the counsel of the Crown of Thundersol, paragon of peace and prosperity. Go on. Spring, oh wait, spring 2021 is the last thing I heard. I just want a more specific window. Oh, maybe they will announce like a more um, concrete date for Nocturne's release. Give me Nocturne now! <gasps> what if? Oh my gosh. What if they announce that the new character is the Demi Fiend from Nocturne and his different powers, his different attacks will be different personas? And his final smash is gonna be like either um a Satan or Hallel? And he just destroys the world, and then they're like, Hey guys, along with the Demi Fiend character, here's the release date for Nocturne! Okay, now I'm looking forward to it, damn it! Oh no, now I have- Throwing my hat in the ring, it's gonna be Demi Fiend. The character announced for Smash. I'll do backflips if that was the case, even better since I can't do a backflip to save my life. I can't do a backflip either. I can't do a cartwheel either. <laughs> I've never learned how to do a cartwheel my entire life. Uh, it regards a royal treasure that has been handed down from generation to generation of our royal line. It is known as the Blue Orb, and at last it has vanished, presumed stolen. King Gustav has used every means at his disposal to try to identify the thief and recover this most precious heirloom, but to no avail. However, a list of likely culprits has been identified, four to be precise. Sadly, there is insufficient evidence to conclusively identify the thief, and so we find ourselves at an impasse. Jelly Nastics. <laughs> Jelly Nastics crash and fall onto the floor like in a heap of flesh and bones. 
So you need to whittle down your list of suspects, but you've no clear means by which to do so. All right, let's have a wee think. The first thing is to identify the likely motive. What For what reason might a person have to want to get their mitts on blue orb for the money? A treasure like that would bring in a pretty penny, I'll warrant. Aye, that'll be why the thief did it now. Next, we come to consider the matter of means. You cannot just walk off in the street and keep your help yourself to the pride of the royal treasure house. But what kind of person could have done it? Uh, master of Disguise. Aye, that'll be it. The thief must have disguised themselves as guard or such like and stole right on when without anyone looking at him twice. Which leads me to conclude that the culprit is an experienced professional thief. Go back and line up your suspects. Tell them that the orb they stole was a fake and that whoever took it must have been an amateur and a fool. Any innocent party will surely see the funny side, but one person certainly will crack a smile. The veteran whose skills you've called into question. A marvelous display of deductive reasoning, your majesty. With your blessing, I shall return to Stiffelheim and inform Kuhn Gustav of your counsel. This is your final judgment on the matter, I take it? Yeah, sure. The kingdom of Stiffelheim owes you a great debt, your majesty. I shall journey back there immediately and share your shrewd insights with the king. And a Russian judge still gives you a 7. Oh man, that's pretty high score from a Russian judge, damn. Now nah, you'll be alright. <laughs> I, I don't think so, I can't do a cartwheel. I must commend you and your wise counsel, Lord Robert. Your advice will doubtlessly lead to the unmasking of the rogue who stole the treasure now. Shall we move on to the next letter? Sure. Do I have to read it? Oh man, there's so much text! Without further delay, let me present you with the next problem requiring your attention. Oh good, we're done. No, we're not. The Sultan of Galapolis salutes the mighty king of Dendrasil and all his people and sends this a missive penned by his most exalted hand. Ahem. Your Majesty, I trust that this much is find you well. Whether the country triumphs and glories or your kingdom reaches us on a daily basis, in truth, I write seeking counsel for this very reason, as you may know, the Sultan has so long the prolonged heat with the Hollandus part to be fear for this year's harvest. As we will have a realm plan day, I beseech you share with us the secrets of your pastoral that we might avert danger. I wait your reply by reader and turn of writer, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galapagos. The best of the I do not wish to pressure you, Your Majesty, but His Excellent the Sultan most, was most desirous of the swift response. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, sounds like they got themselves in a pretty pickle over there. Hey, well, I better see what I can do to help them, Hadam and I. Jack professor advice, huh? I can't say it's a problem where if we've ever faced over this way, if I'm honest. Well, let's start with the basics, shall we? If I'm to write a plan, I'll need to decide on the eternal letter first. First, I'm feeling gracious. Ah, right, that's probably the best way to go. Now, for the tricky part, what to do in a drought, let's weigh the options. Um, Think outside the box. No? Right, that's it, I've got it. Quick, take this down before I get it. Your speed reading makes me want to hear you do audiobooks and speed that audio up just to see what it sounds like. Ha <laughs> ha! That would be pretty funny and interesting. A good um exercise or or just like a little experiment. <laughs> My dear Sultan, I understand your kingdom is suffering a bad or seriously hot weather. No doubt sales of ice cream swoops are going through the roof. Of course I do not wish to make light of your predicament. I simply wish to show you that by changing the way you think about something you can turn it across this into an opportunity. What I suggest is you inspire your people to think of radical new ways of cooling down, leave it to their imaginations and see what they come up with. Hopefully it will evolve swimsuits and lots of them. Wait, but the problem is that the crops are dying, is it not? Not that the people can't keep cool? Oh, well, whatever. That's the one. Get that all written up in your best fancy handwriting on one of those nice scrolls. A marvelous Mrs. Rima, if you don't mind me saying now, just to confirm you have your whatever you just said. So I'm not sure, whatever, I don't care. Excellent, we'll send it to Galapagos with the right right away now. Shall we have to send in the next order? Sure. Very good, your majesty. Then without further delay, let me present you with the next problem that requires your attention. Oh, my word! As I'm sure you read the pugilistic tournaments held regularly in the town of Octagonia, where fighters from all corners of the world compete to prove their worth. Naturally, there is no shudders as young Huffles keen to present the Red Dungeons in the next grand event of this kind. To that end, I wish to present with you our kingdom's fi three final candidates. Who better than fighting a man like yourself, Lord Robert, to assess the potential? If it please, Your Majesty, could you step forward and pick the one you might think will be a champion in the making? The Bear! An interesting choice indeed, Your Majesty. This one's a real wild one. Without a shred of decency or compassion for his fellow fighter, an animal who will stop at nothing to achieve victory. Girl, I can't bear to summon the pings of him, but you know, I'm not that bad on this. Is you going to choose me or what? Sure. Just get this over with. That's great, Your Majesty. Just wait till it's all the cubs. Very good, Your Majesty. But are you certain you wish to put forth an animal without a shred of mercy to represent your fine? No. I thought as much. Would you be using the selection process again? Um, how about you? Typically discerning treasure matters to fill blood with all the raiders fly and talents luck he made it through all of his qualified best without conceding around. I'm afraid I'm not exactly bringing with confidence your majesty, but if you think me I'll cross my fingers really hard and hope for the best. So come on, what did you say? Uh, oh no 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 I did not mean to then Yeah I didn't know. Ah 
for I have very well condition how a fine choice of magic I knew it is something else with the champs of the chaff your pick is burning with brutes that he can shred steel with his bare hands you pick at me yeah yeah well, that's pure deep brilliant that is you will get in my opponent's as well though her 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 so we're uh, yeah sure Amazing, I won't let you down, I promise. I'll tell those daft weird nyaf limbs from them and do dangerous low power. Just you wait and see. Marvelous work, Your Majesty. Just to confirm, you're happy to put this hard thing especially forward to represent Dungeon Shark. Very good, Your Majesty. Victory of Dungeon Shark is assured. All we need to know now is the way to return. No more. I'm happy to report this concludes all your royal duties for today. Those here in the throne room, at least. But I believe King Urban mentioned there may be trouble cells elsewhere in the castle who require your assistance. May I suggest that you take a little stroll around the grounds? Oh, but before you depart, let me to say that this will not be pleasure to witness you at work today. Truly, I spent far too long. It's safe to say your kingly judgment is sharp as it ever was. Oh my word. Oh my word. Is this all Rob's chapter is going to be? Oh my gosh. I mean, I love seeing the castle, but man. Oh man, do you need help? No. First off, I'm going to save so that I don't have to read all of that all again. So that was heck. Oh my gosh, my tongue is tired. Ba -ba. This is why there's never been a game just about reading books. <laughs> I mean, there are visual novel games, but you know, at least they have pretty pictures and some of the lines are voiced, but this is like, none of the lines are voiced. I am the tired. This is beautiful. Oh wait, no, that's Erwin. I need to help people. Mm. Would you be mad if I wrote a long text? I would not be mad. Go for it. Reading War and Peace, the game. <laughs> oh man, that, that is the mo I think that would be one of the most torturous books to read. Oh my gosh. No, thank you. I mean, I'm already struggling with Anna Karenina. Oh, you need help. Forgive me for biting you with such a traffic matter, Your Majesty, but I would probably very much like to ask you for it. But it's true that there's someone at the castle who's caught by all, but I kind of just mustered the courage to tell them how I feel. If I had an idea, and I was so so about my idea. But what if they got flowers to build by none other than yourself? I reckon they'll be able to move. So what do you say? Sure, you'll do it really well. I didn't know quite what to say. You're a star. But before I forget, here they are. Got a pretty posy. Now, how can I describe my true love, my peach, the apple of my and the captain of my heart? Well, they're in the castle. They're wearing green, and they got red hair. Good luck! Is it you? You must be very excited for the baby, man. I know I am. In fact, I prepared a beautiful cave for to move around. I'm running explosive forest, don't you know? This man has red hair and is dressed in green. He might be a person that loves the car once as well. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, it's probably a young person. Wearing green. Huh. Uh, grade A VA. Haha, <laughs> very articulate. Thank you. Also, hey, Mudkips, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday to you. Um, wearing green, red hair. You! You're probably her. Ah, King Erwin and Queen Eleanor always look so happy. Well, that's true love for you. I wish it could happen to me, but I suppose that's hoping for not just one man's red hair green. Presumably, what's pretty? Yes. Why? You really giving this to me? Much? I'm very flattered, but I'm never going off for all the men. And hold that a wee second. Lastly, these are for me. I'm delivering them on behalf of a certain young admirer of yours. Is that so? Well, I must say they're very beautiful, very beautiful indeed. I, this is I, all right. Where am I? I find this young man. Rock tells a woman where to find the love cigar, and she hurries off to talk to him. Your Majesty, thanks so much. Oops, the boy. The light, the light of love has dawned in my life, and it's all thanks to you. To think you'd help to take the what? To think you take the time to help a lowly soldier like you. So, words can I express how grateful I am? But maybe this can. I got a pretty bad seat. What? You're a real man of people, Your Majesty. I'll never forget what you've done for me as long as I live. Now I gotta look for more people in need. Happy Tuesday. Ha 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 ha. No better. Reading Pride and Prejudice, the game in VR. Dude, I will read Pride and Prejudice from cover to cover, no problem. I love Jane Austen. I love Pride and Prejudice. 
Also, it's not as long as War and Peace or Anna Karenina. <laughs> You're the only one who can help! Your Majesty, you're always the only one has a rise rule of one who may know a thing or two about a thing or two. Well, I was wondering if I may be bold enough to make a small request of you. If you don't mind, I would like very much to ask you some questions in order to see your formidable intro. So what do you say? Will you indulge me? Well, thank you, Your Majesty. Now, without further ado, let me set you some poses. All it requires is that you and your infant will supply me with a simple true or false response to each one. Ready? Here we go. True or false, you, Lord Robert, are in fact the youngest of three brothers. I don't know. False? Boo, Your Majesty, surely you just, you seriously cannot... You cannot seriously have forgotten how many siblings you have. No, you're merely teasing me. I'm certain of it. I know you have always enjoyed a good laugh, but I would humbly request that next time you take my question seriously and answer truthfully to the best of your ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I want to... Uh, true. Correct, but that was too easy. Was it not? Let me give you a starter challenge for the second question. Here comes true or false. The purple orb is one of the royal trusses of Sifelheim. False. Yeah, that is blue one. Correct. Bravo. Now I can tell you one more of a challenge, so let's increase the difficulty a little. True or false? A Drusillian Sovereign we use as a curry is worth 10 Drusillian silly. Yeah! Correct. I can see that you are champing a bit and have to before my two questions. Well, let's see how you enjoy this one. True or false? The Sultan of Galapagos has a single son upon whom he does successfully. Yeah! Oh dear, your majesty, so you are aware that the Sultan has not yet been blessed with a child? Frack you! It seems your own will to give free way to your men to look like very much hope the next time you take out the child will be no straight. I hate your face! Ah, uh, if it was so easy to get a girl. I know, right? If only I could just go up to a boy and be like, Hello, here is a flower. Love me. Damn. False. True. False. Correct, but of course that comes with no surprise to your majesty. I have cruised effortlessly to my final question. True or false? In addition to four great kingdoms that make up Erdria, there was once a fifth. True. Oh, you did it, your majesty. You answered every single question correctly, but then I expect enough. I truly have witnessed an epic feat of intellectual prowess. I shall never forget what I've observed here to today's side of a matchless mind spreading its wings and taking flight is something I shall take to the grave here. It's a lost good of appreciation. I gotta see the magic. Cool. This has been both humbling and inspiring experience, your majesty. I intend to hit the books and memorize yet more obscure trivia that I might one day reach your heady heights. Frack you, man. Do you need help? No. There was a library, was there not? Yeah, there's rooms this size of Drome and I gotta see if people need help. Gonna go lurk mode, have fun, thank you! Have fun lurking! That needs to be on your t-shirt on your merch store, I hate your face. <laughs> stiff, stiff. I cannot be the only one with the niche nose, can I? Oh, your majesty is almost time, I bet you cannot wait to meet your new grandchild. It's the bonniest baby ever born, I'm sure of it. Oh, okay, do you not need help? At least with dogs, you can show them a chewy stick and they'll be like, I will love you forever. True. That's how I won the heart of my roommate's cat. I just kept giving her treats and she's like, yes, I can trust you. You're a good person. Okay, I think that's everyone then. No one else seems to have problems. I mean... Honestly, you could probably win over anyone's affection by giving them free food. <laughs> Isn't that why they say, um, uh, hunger or food is the best way? The best way to a man's heart is through his stomach or something? Works for girls too! If we get free food, we happy! <laughs> Ah, Lord Robert, your timing is almost done, Kenny. I've just a second managed to come up with the perfect name for the new baby I lost. Without you, I wouldn't have the time to probably mull it over. You've no idea how much of a help you've been. Since we both finished our business for the day, why don't we head back to the throne and wait for the good news, sure? Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. Hello, finally. <gasps> Already? Ah. Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. Alliteration! A boy. A boy. Look, Erwin. It's me! Oh, he's a fine wee chappy. <gasps> it's a red book. I've what a set of lungs. We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. I thought you already had a name, so dude. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Erdrick? Oh, it's beautiful. No, it's my name is Jelly To- Oh, clever, it's because brave, they um, didn't know my real name, right? Yes. 
But I've rather set my oh, heart no. to something else, you know? She gives me my name. What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. <laughs> Too bad. But if that's the name you've chosen, Erin's voice looks weird coming out from that mouth. It really have. does. It's, I'm like, really? That voice for that face? Okay. Uh, that's what you chose. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... That's my name. <laughs> oh, father. Is that really the only thing she says? Father. Father. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Now, how many A's and O's are in that name? <laughs> Gotta make sure you spell it right every time for all your legal documents. Hello, everyone. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh. Oh, babies. <laughs> Ooh, where's the baby? <gasps> Oh no, where is my daughter? What the? Having fun? No, uh, I'm not. How are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel He already so lost the baby, real. I know, man, that freaking sucks. <laughs> now I can read the book. Book's called Book of Erdwin. Rob takes it from the shelf and has a look. Chapter 1. Song begins. World trees give first of many bold, bright, less luminary. Thy light dies a shadow cast. Low, low, dark one, bleak, back, fast. Chapter 2. Song of prayer. World tree foot, a plea, a prayer. Ringeth through the mountain air. Babe is born to trees will reveal. Serenica, luminary shield. The book is filled with many more such important sounding poems. Rob Clarefield closes it. Cool, cool. Snooping through closets. Literally five seconds and he loses the baby. How bad do you have to have up to do that? <laughs> Well, to be fair, it's not really his fault. This is all the doing of the bunny lady. Huh? Why is it so quiet? Why is it? There's nothing else in the throne, right? Okay, nothing. At least he didn't drop the baby, <laughs> right? Dropping would be way worse. He doesn't look like the kind of man I would leave a baby with. What? He seems like such a sweet grandpa. Really? You couldn't have just teleported here first and gone down the stairs, you weirdo? Where did everybody go? They cannot have left without telling me, can they? This isn't real, dude. Wake up! <sighs> it's my birthday? What's all this then? <laughs> <gasps> this is an alternate- Happy birthday, Grandpa! Alternate world! Get away. It's... It's you. When my brother was born, that was my biggest fear. Uh, Billy only dropped him once or so. Yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> of holding children that are, like, less than one year old. Because I'm afraid... Not, I'm not afraid that I'm going to drop them, but I'm afraid that I'm going to improperly hold their neck or not support Surprise! it enough that it's going to, like, hurt them. So I'm just like, no, until you can support your own head, I do not want to hold you. Sweet, yeah, but he Happy also looks like he doesn't have any attention span and would lose focus if he We've saw a coin on the ground. Finest if it's a coin on the ground, the I think the Arcadia, he can ignore it, but if it's I like it be a, a girly mag, I think, yeah, he'd be like, woohoo! 
Many happy returns. So Mama Jelly's going to need to practice. If I ever become a mama, yes, I will need to practice. Or I'll just be like, someone else help me take care of the baby. <laughs> oh, you, you, you shouldn't have. Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin, too. Oh, Thanks, that's guys. That's my boys. Aye, but this and a is great big fake. happy birthday to this you from all the lads fake. and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection of uh, uh, gentlemen's periodicals. Gentlemen's you, periodicals. <sighs> I spawned this thing now. Someone Life. else take care of it. I mean, oh, I can handle um, changing diapers and changing clothes and whatnot. It's just holding the baby, picking the baby up. That's what I'm afraid of. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? Matter. No, laddie. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. Oh, there's a priest. I should save. He calls me child. <laughs> Bless a child, what help do you need? Oh, I've been reading the time wrong. I've been... Playtime is 4831. Okay, yeah, so this is a long game. Hey, it's Sniffleheim! Cool. Sniffleheim. I saw Galopolis earlier, but I didn't see Heliodor. What? Okay, he's drunk. I was like, um, did someone attack him and we're just not paying attention? Okay, so Sniffleheim. I'm Dundrasil, Galopolis, Heliodor, and there's a fifth kingdom. Hmm. And there's uh, Galopolis. Jelly Toast wants to take his grandpa around, show him off to everybody. Don't keep it waiting, will you, father? Father. Come on, grandpa, follow me. Many happy returns. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You were inspired by chapter 3 of the Angel Conquest and now what truly the breath of your erudition was were able to write an blah 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 Happy birthday old friend there shall be many more yet of that no doubt <laughs> I want to thank you once again for your invaluable advice regarding that terrible blue orb business we told the suspects that the orb was fake and the culprit was so shocked that he collapsed in a tearful heap on the floor it was the most marvelous ruse Everyone loves you, Grandpa. All the scholars are telling me how clever you are. You're amazing. Oh, get away with you. I don't want to get a big head, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to for you to mix with those bookish types. Of toast. A king has to know a lot of things. I'll show you, Grandpa. I'm going to stay hard until I know as much as you do. Now, let's go over here. Come on, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. I bet when he eats anything, it's like 70% his own mustache. Oh, gross. The heartiest of happy birthdays to you, old friend. Judge has always been a friend to Galopolis. We owe you a great debt for the help you offered when we were beset by drought. Your idea of devising new ways for my people to cool down was inspired. It led to a new dance craze that helped keep every people up. And since the sales went through the roof. Look, Grandpa, look at all those beautiful girls. Ah, uh, there is no doubt about it. You take after your old Grandpa Jelly Toast. Hmm, what do you mean? Never mind, you laddie. You'll find out soon enough. All right, now let's see what's over here. Come on, Grandpa. Many of you, your majesty. I brought some of my fighting mates from Octagonia to help you celebrate in style. Oh, I want to thank you again for picking me to represent Dungeons in the ring. I'm only sorry I didn't manage to come back with the trophy. Guess I wasn't quite as tough as I thought. Still, I learned a lot from my experience at the School of Lord Knox, and now I'm half decent grappler, even if I do say so myself. And I will see you give, give a break, break. Oh, look at his muscles. He looks so strong. I want to look like that one day. Well, I didn't know if you'll quite look like that, but you'll be tough, all right? Yeah, my grandson, after all, no pushover. Yeah, I can't wait to grow up and be strong and lead like, just like you, Grandpa. We'll protect everyone in so you and me and Dad. So not so far wrong away, we, Grandpa, but I'm getting hungry. I know. How about a slice of cake? It was my idea that the biggest cake cake ever. <laughs> just stop talking. Just stop talking. So you guys do the talking for me. Russell has not been destroyed. And Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with a boy. Well, whatever this place is, 
Whatever's going on, I know. And now the King of Helidor is gonna bust it and destroy everything! By golly, I could stay here forever. <laughs> Sniff snob. Oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh, there, there, wee man. There's no need for that. <laughs> The sign of the luminary. My grandson, he needs help. I gotta get out of here. That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I woke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out. To find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Oh no, I don't want to fight by myself. I don't want to fight yes. by myself. No. So, Rob is so weak. I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but. But that means. Grandmaster Pang? All this must be. What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I have somewhere I need to be. I need to be away from Things my birthday celebration. What? You mean you're leaving? Ooh, nice lighting. Hi. Nice right. framing. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. Huh? Bye bye forever. What's the matter, your majesty? You aren't seriously about to leave a party in full swing, are you? I am. Boundless happiness awaits you here, you know. Joy, laughter, and all manner of wonderful surprises. Are you really willing to leave it behind? Yeah. I can give you what you want, your majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because I gotta I help my important. actual grandson in the real world! As a world needs saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up, not going soft in the head. I need to be with Grandmaster Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. Hmm. After all the effort I went to, honestly. Do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? <laughs> yes. You look cute <gasps> as a bunny-eared bimbo. Oh, but you are so <laughs> pretty! Holy crap! Grand Master Pang! You can't be serious! Whoa. It was you all along! She's beautiful! Oh! <sighs> No fight! Yay! <sighs> oh. <sighs> Wait. This is... <gasps> Ooh. Where is this? Question mark? When bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise o'er darkened skies and banish night with holy light. Okay. Oh no, am I gonna fight her? Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the Void, and you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. 
Not all of my students would dare. Didn't you it's an bring honor me to here? See you again, I didn't come master. here on my own. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? Indeed, it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Wait. Yes! Pass with flying colors! So you'll train me, eh? Not so fast. Hm. You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet, if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You what? Say what You now? must show me that you have not been neglectful ah, of your frack. training. Ah, Battle time, battle time. That you have been diligent in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. <laughs> what? No, not the naughty stick! And she's Naughty taken stick? to wielding two of them Why, she gonna spank him with oh, those? Heavens. Oh my gosh. No get out of this without a bruiser too. But if that's what it takes, oh my gosh. then so be okay, it. Okay, so maybe this won't be Do too hard worst. of a fight? Yeah. And at least Rob can heal himself. Let us begin. Take him. <laughs> you must use every tool at your disposal. Or else. What? I didn't hear what she was saying. Whatever. Um. Uh. Um. Okay. How's about this for a pick me up? What is this boss fight even? I mean, no king shaming, but still weird. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Steals MP, sends MP2 here after a sale. Okay, so Zamel or. Yeah, I'm gonna do Zamel. By the power of the darkness! By the power of Grayskull! Ouch! I'll uh, attack one more time and then I'll heal myself. Oh, mother! Uh, more heal me, Pull please. Woohoo! I'll let you up this time. Oh, oh! No! Rob, you fool! <gasps> you fool! <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Zamel again. Oh wow, she's not even at halfway. <gasps> Death. Do you believe you have what it takes? Spellcaster stance. Me. Okay. Does that mean I should uh, physically attack her? Oh no, she has ammo as well. Uh, okay, let's attack one more time. Do not lose focus. Let's attack one more time. I call upon the darkness. Okay. Now I shall heal. No, stop. No, Rob. Why do you have to be enthralled by the ladies? Surprise! Uh, why is this so hard? Oh, she's finally darkness. getting damaged. Oh, a lot. I've held back until now. Focus her senses. No longer. Spell resistant defense return to normal brings Come him back up. Run. Stop it! Come on! No! No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I will risk it. I will. Um. 
No. Zam? No. Wow! None of these do, like, a group of enemies. It's only one at a time. Okay, then I'll just focus- keep focusing on Master Pang. Damn. Ah! Um... Almighty ability? Oh no. Why does he get to go twice? I'm pepped! Cool. Now, uh, heal yourself. Lurk needs to go check on something. Okay! Fully focused and ready to strike, uh, then should I defend? Yeah, I'll defend. Pepped up like a middle school cheerleader. Ha ha ha! I am so glad I blocked, because that would have definitely killed me. Okay, Zamel. Awesome! Oh wow! Let totally freak me out at me right on! Toro, show our number one. I transferred from Los Angeles. Your school has no gymnastics team. This is the last resort. She's defeated! Got her. Oh. Good thing I only focused on Pang. The tantamount was nothing. <sighs> Perhaps you have not been as lazy as I feared. But you are still not ready. What do you mean? I, be I beat you! Wait. And your spank I... paddles. Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. You're serious? You mean it's time? It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets. Oh, of our more art. magic for me? But were you to undergo the full course of study? The physical body you have left behind would wither and die. What? Then how As would I go such, back to my... Your training must be accelerated. And the work of years <gasps> What is this? The hyperbolic time days. chamber? That's what it was called, right? In Dragon Ball Z? It will not be easy. Where they're just like, Oh yeah, one hour in the real world is like ten years in the chamber. Might better be. You bet I am! I have the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. Uh, by the way, the whole bunny girl thing, you were more than a might convincing grandmaster, I have to say. I could have sworn you'd sworn in straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Ogler's Digest. Ogler's Digest. Gentlemen periodicals. Hmm. There is more to me than meets the eye, you know. I too was young once upon a time. Oh man, were you really a bunny girl? <gasps> Hang on a minute. What do you mean by that exactly? Do not question your master. You have trained. Maybe that's to why she has a spank paddle. She kept it from her days as a bunny it girl. Easy to begin with. Ten thousand press ups. On your knuckles. T t Ten thousand. It's over nine thousand. Oh yeah. Oh man, I tried to do push-ups again today after a long time. Man, I am weak sauce. Boop -boop -boop. Please, Serena and Veronica together. Serena and Veronica together. Serenica, come on! Ooh, where's Nautica? His I'm off to make cheesecake or some dessert and give it to a hundred women. One of them should have a payoff night. Cause is not for long. <gasps> uh, man, my roommate made me pumpkin dreadful. cheesecake for my birthday and, and it is delicious. It's so good. I love it. Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering, and pain, the Luminary's light can shine upon this land again. Mm. 
Whoa. Oh, excuse me. Who is it? Who am I? Am I the luminary? Serena? Veronica? Oh my gosh, I'm a fish. Who am I? Oh my gosh! It's me! Tennis host has lots of power of the luminary. Okay, so I guess Serena and Veronica don't have a side story. Jelly's host looks into the mirror. He sees the face of a big blue fish staring back at him. He shuts his eyes tightly, but when he opens them again, the fish's face swims back into view. Jelly's host sighs, and a string of small bubbles float out of the fish's mouth and drift up to the ceiling. Say what now? <laughs> Wait, never mind. Don't have to get up early tomorrow. Noise. Oh, you're awake. You're alert. You're alive. I actually need to go to sleep early today so that I can wake up at a normal time tomorrow. I've been sleeping at two every day, and it is not good for my body. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I should just sleep earlier and then wake up earlier if I want to do stuff throughout the day. Where am I going? Oh, look at me! Oh, whoops. Wait, this is... This is not a go? I don't remember being here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here I remember. Ooh. Now that I... Woo! Yeah, now that I'm not a person and I'm a fish, I can explore all this land! Maybe I could even go straight to the queen herself. Descend a little, come on. Okay. Queen! Haha! -ha. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. I'm here already, ma'am. Oh no! Your Majesty! Is it garbage? Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. That didn't really flow well as a rhyme, but whatever. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish. You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. But where when are Serena and Veronica? You here, it gave me such a shock to see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Smart. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. Months? As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I look like such a sad I fish. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Uh, terrible. I'm imagining. Uh, 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 uh. 
Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your I eyes. I can see it in your eyes. I, I saw can you see it in your smile. The tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. The Fellowship of the Ring. We're on our way to Mordor. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. I am ready right now. Ooh, so pretty. Ascend! 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 But I'm a fish. How do I open doors? Okay, whatever. Swim faster, man. Look at that, like, water reflection. That light on the wall. Damn it. But look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. And eons passed since ah. I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. Ooh, a giant Behold pearl. Behold the pearl of wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. Oh, so that's how she keeps abreast of like what's happening in the world above. I've summoned up above. a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now. Let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Do I get to choose which party member I go to first, or is it like Whenever you are ready, scripted? Touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world. I'm ready now. Like, what else is there to do as a fish? Oh, maybe possibly look for treasure chests in her chamber. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, damn. The world's on fire. Oh, that's Yggdrasil. The once fair land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan All the leaves are gone. Heart, Wait, but all the leaves the are souls. So isn't everybody... Fell. Gonna die? Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees despoiled. and grasses burned to ashes. Lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. Oh the man, they even got like Twinkle of the Jewels in her tiara. That's freaking cool. I'm just paying attention to sparkles and the diamonds. Misery and tears. I see them quake. Because it's like, tremble, yes, we know the people suffered. I, I will go help them. Fears. I will defeat Mordigan. <laughs> But thou must. <laughs> oh, poor baby. <gasps> Is everyone dead? Church is dead. Please help me. It's time for some finny fun. Oh, am I human again? Nope.
Wow, that was good. They really tricked me. So everyone wasn't dead? They're just tired? Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. Walking to where? We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. No, 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 no. Heliodor is no. Heliodor is the bad place. <sighs> Hendrik? Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven. Oh, he's from Hato. So we're a ragtag group of people. Symbolism. The rain has stopped. The light is shining. Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. But Only I don't have the power of the luminary anymore, so what can I flame. possibly do? Hmm. We're just gonna have to get Soul Edge back from Mordigan. Yggdrasil has crashed to earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. But look, a glowy spot. Oh no! Oh! Did they reach... Oh, they're purposely attacking Nautica. Alizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but needed to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. Turn me back into a human. I will kill I'd him. I hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared it's to his, symbolic. my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. <laughs> hey, Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Tuesday. Ere long, the barrier will fall and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Uh, you can't die either. You tell me what happens next in the game, or at least you lead me where I go. You're not allowed to die yet, queen. I don't work tomorrow so I can hang all night. Noise. Did you have work yesterday because it was President's Day? Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. You did it, nice. Monday's already. Day. Oh, so they're just regularly your day off. Ah, okay. Wait. Okay. Now I gotta see if there is a treasure chest around here. So they gave you tomorrow. Oh, nice. How kind of them. And at least Wednesday's like kind of a fun day to have off because it's in the middle of the week. It's not like you have, like, Thursday off and then you have to go in for one more day of work. Because that's lame. Can you swim faster? Holy crap! Usually I would press R2 to run faster, but R2 in fish form is... Is this, uh, ascend. Where am I going? Guess I'm descending. Descend! Okay. Let me out. Let me out. 
Now where am I going? Leave the palace and find Queen Marina. Marina and the diamonds. Curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. I at least I look marginally happier. Snowstorm is happening tonight and tomorrow, so tonight's it slumber party, I guess. Nice. Tragedy have followed you since birth. Hopefully, you Cold have power, though. I heard I heard a lot of people in Texas don't have earth. power, and I'm like. It is like snowstorm, it is single digit temperature and they don't have power, like they must be freezing. And yet Especially because they're not used day. to snow Prevailed and cold weather. Strife. You've brushed with death a like thousand that freaking times, sucks. Yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. I will survive. Bright luminary, let the light fruit. shine Few on the world again. Are in that Find position. The they have a gas heater, so that of hope and kindle helps. them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of. Hopefully, they have enough gas. The land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. I'm so glad I don't live in a snowy area anymore. Well, the I like being lives. warm. I don't There's like being cold. People steal. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. <gasps> I'm replaying Nier Automata. Nice! The barrier shakes and breaks? Yes. I was thinking I kind of want to um, play Automata again before Replicant comes out, but I think I'm not going to have enough time, especially since I'm still finishing up Dragon Quest. And Persona 5 Strikers is coming out. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be And I'm playing Raido, so... Ah, but Nier Automata. Oh no, did her staff just break? Whoa! Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. <laughs> Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Believe in the heart of the cards. Oh no, he broke through. Citizens of Nordica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. No, thank you. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sucker! Ooh, okay. Is there something tasty on the end of that fishing line? Take a closer look. Is there a treasure chest around here? Take a closer look. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Can I do the fun size forge as a fish? <laughs> I don't think there's a treasure chest down here. Yeah, I'll just go for the fishing line. Donde? Who's there? Hi. Oops, 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 oops. Hi. Hi? Hello? Hello? What? Did it take too long? Huh? Oh, there you are. Hi. 
the sun. Uh, there's a big juicy prawn dangling over I had to be all day at the bottom. That's weird. Who's gonna fish me up? A regular dude. Oh, Blue John's hooked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find Do out. Do mackerel grow big enough to eat a man? Yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. Are you gonna eat human? Haha! <laughs> well, if you eat me, you're a cannibal. Who, who, who the heck are you? I, and what are you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. I'm sorry, I was a fish. Hey, <gasps> no. I'm crying! Don't cry, Sonny. I'm not crying. Take me to land. Look, I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen. Blue John's gonna help you out. Oh, Blue John's we such a nice guy. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But it'll do you for a day or two. Thanks, dude. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Bony Fido. Right. Now that's decided, let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. I can't find Grandpa. Uh, am I just rusting here? Let me move. Oh, whoop. Blue John's bed smells a little dank, but it looks comfortable enough so I'll never tonight. Sure. <laughs> Leave it in a dank bed, gross. Okay, now I go out. Whoa. Oh, it's sad music again. I don't like this. Hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> There's no daytime Blue anymore? John oh, dang. It really is the world of darkness. There ain't no morning to speak of these days. That's miserable. You hadn't noticed. Why, we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. Dark sky? But Silvando had a bit of sunlight. Just look at the state of it. There was an almighty booming. Darkness, 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 light! Billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. But animals are still around. That ain't good. We better hide and fast. It's the vicious monsters. Ooh, that was a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters. If all the evil stuff is happening place. around Heliodor, don't the people realize that maybe the king of Heliodor was the bad dude? They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, 
Seems the victuals round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny. No, send me packing. I, I need to be on my way. Be on your way. I need to go find my friends and my family. The last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. I'm the hero. He's a good in that one. A spark of hope. In these dark old times. I'm the hero. Steer a course I'm the due one who west wins. until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now. Cobblestone sonny. Falls, okay. Cobblestone Falls. Whoa, potato! Oh, fancy clocking the luminary in a place like this. I'm Tickle, Ickle's uncle from Tober and Tickington. I've been looking for you ever since Sick Yourself disappeared. I've not had the easiest time of it either. That goes for Tickington as a whole, to be honest, but it looks like I've found you in the nick of time. We need your help, you see. Just let me know when you're ready to make the trip, and I'll whisk you over there in two ticks. I'm not ready. I don't have any more passwords. Okay, so Cobblestone Falls is down to the left. Okay. Hey, shiny. No! No! Ah, get away from me! Stay back! <clears throat> I just wanted to harvest. Okay, um, no, that's King's Bow. I just need cobblestone foals, please. I'll fight all you dudes later when I get my party members back. I don't like the way he said blackness. <laughs> Did he say darkness? Darkness. No parents. Bump, 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 bump. Man, now I want to watch the Lego Batman movie again. I love all the Lego movies. They're all so fun. Harvest bot. <gasps> Jug of fresh water. Nice. Whoops, I have to go up this way. The Lego movie was the best Batman movie since The Dark Knight. Heck yes, it was. But I'm kind of excited for the upcoming um, Batman movie with Robert Pattinson in it. I'm very intrigued. Uh, okay, so... The last bastion is to the left, so I gotta go that way and south, okay. Have not seen any Lego movies? Oh man, oh man. You should watch the Lego movie. Is good. I enjoyed all of them. A lot of people didn't like the Ninjago, Lego Ninjago movie, but I thought it was still like cute and funny. I really enjoyed it. <gasps> Dog! Damn my sleeping schedule. Hey, Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Tuesday! The Lego video games are good too. That's what I've heard. But I have not played any of the Lego video games. But I heard that the humor was on par with the movies, or like at least the movies match the humor of the video games. Which if it does, then that's good, because I thought the movie Lego movies were hilarious. Is the last bastion just cobblestone? It is. Then that dog is Sandy, is it not? Wait, Gemma's alive? Sandy, there you are. And where did you run off to, might I ask? Is she really it's alive? Really, is she really there? It? Am I hallucinating? Yeah. You're alive, and you, you, you've come back to us. Oh, I've been so, so, so worried, especially after, well, we heard such awful things. <laughs> Wait, so then is my mom still okay? Oh, 
Oh, Sandy. You're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. Get away from and me, Gemma. I need I to see if mom's okay. Like a baby. I'm doing good. That's good. Welcome home. It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No. We've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. Jasper. I, I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. Wow, dark. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But then where were all of you? Well, that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground. Okay, so they were locked up in the castle. In the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy, you're right. Yeah, Gemma, get the hint. I just want to go home and see my mom. mom. Come on. Let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. Uh, my grandpa would be happy to see me. Eric won't be happy to see me, though, because he doesn't remember me. Hmm. Eric, no. I need to find Eric now. I don't remember how to get to my mom's house. Oh, no. Lead the way, Gemma. For some reason, I keep smelling ham and cheese empanada. I don't know why. Come on, girls. I don't remember how to get to my it. mom's house. Context is everything. Doing the fighting, so it's In this game, I don't remember how to get to her burning. house. Are you hungry for that? Sorry Actually, I wouldn't Amber. mind the ham and cheese empanada. That sounds very good. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Guess who's here? Well, you're not gonna believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. <gasps> My little soldier. I'm weird. I like ham. I love cheese, but I don't like ham and cheese sandwiches. What? What? Actually, no. That's not actually that weird because I like eating scrambled eggs and I like eating um steamed egg. <laughs> Just it's like this Korean dish you. where you take egg and you like mix it together and then you happened, I was sure cook you it. Sure you like you steam it, so it's like steamed oh. puff egg. But I don't like e eating eggs in any other ways. I don't like them fried. When I don't the like them struck, boiled. So many people I don't like them lives. um the cooked different vanished. ways. The only two ways I'll eat eggs are if they're monsters appeared all over the place. If they're scrambled or steamed even those of us who were lucky enough to survive hard boiled is my jam so Ooh, drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live and then the hero appeared just when we needed him he did all he could to help people no matter who they were or where they were from he fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety Without him, I Man, this soft lighting is beautiful. And now, thanks to him, Look how she glows. the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion, humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Actually, I did try, um, Would you what is it, deviled eggs? The King of Heliodor or here. it's the type of eggs where it's like, it's like boiled, but then you take the inside yolk and you like mix it up with some other stuff and then you put them back into the center of the egg however that egg is called i tried that and that was actually pretty good but i've only ever had it once in my life look i know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned but i'm sure he had his reasons things aren't always as they seem love he may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. 
Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. The king? Just pop your head round the door of the his king? tent, you love? For me. Is he it's back the one to in the normal? middle of the camp with the two flags? And be polite. Deviled eggs, yes. Oh, uh, the two flags. Center of the camp. King Carnelian. Oy, so it is him. So maybe he is not possessed anymore? I know there's a lot of like looking at houses and tents and whatever, but I gotta know. Okay, this way. I gotta progress with the story. Okay, okay, there you are. Hello! Greetings, Mr. Luminary, sir. His Majesty is waiting for you inside. How did they know I'm the Luminary? He woke up not long ago and seems to have rather keen to talk to you. What's up, sir? So, Your Majesty. You are alive and well, I see. Your Royal Highness. You have nothing to fear. I have regained I my senses very delicious. at last. Mm -hmm. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. So he was possessed the whole time then. I do not ask for forgiveness. It was Mordigan that took over his body and I did do all that stuff. It. Unless he's playing us All now, I ask too! Is that I be allowed to atone? To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain? Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? Yes, I do. I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that. Whomever, or whatever, had me in its grasp for all those years, left me there. What a trick. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive? She is! Actually, I don't know. Last time I saw her, she was. But then Boo Booga did something, and then that was it. Your Majesty, the hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. We think we you know, but don't know for sure. So probably not. No, survival. she's gotta be alive. Though she's Jade. She's like best girl. First. Come on. Oh, my eyes are starting to hurt. Oh, I really need to sleep early today. Go to the north entrance of the last bastion. Whoops. <laughs> Let me out, please. What is a sleep early of which you speak? Sleep by midnight. <laughs> At least definitely sleep before two. <laughs> My eyes hurt. Ooh. Sleep is for the weak. I am so weak, dude. Ah, it is Hendrik! Mm. Luminary lives. At least he's not calling me Darkspawn anymore. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well? What news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! I will also help in the fight. As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. 
But you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone. Which is why his burden must be lightened. I mean, it's not entirely his fault that Mordigan came that about. Your were set it's all Jasper's aside, fault. Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Sure, because I'm a good dude. Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. I am not ready. In fact, I think this is a good place to stop. So I'm going to go back to the church. I'm going to say, Ooh! I fell very far. J Whoa, jump please. I got stuck and that was weird. Hello, statue! Okay, so I must save this here. And tomorrow, I will actually be picking up Raido Kuzunoha again. Because it's been a while since I played. So, yeah, tomorrow will be Raido, but then Monday I will be back to Dragon Quest XI. Uh, can we give Kamen a raid? Of course we can. So we can prepare to raid Kame, who is playing Persona 3. But yeah, I look forward to Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Again, my prediction for Nintendo Direct for the new Smash character, Demi Fiend from Nocturne. And then they will also um, announce the release date of Nocturne. That's my guess. I hope it's right. But um, yeah, that's it for me tonight. My eyes are killing me. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Five bucks says you're wrong, but we'll see. Good night and good night. Ha! I will be right. I guess Obama. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me tonight. Bye, guys.